Hello guys and welcome back to episode number 5 of Boily to Glory. Since we were last together, we've been a little busy, not super super busy. I remember that we've got 4 packs, uh, 4 upgrade packs from last episode to get through. We've almost completed Jared Bowen, which was a new objective that came out over the weekend. We've got Foot Champs to qualify for unfortunately we won't be able to play through the next three weekend leagues including today so this weekend and the next two weekend leagues we're going to miss because i'm away but we've been busy we've managed to grind through rivals without boily again to get the qualifications point so we'll take on foot champs a wee bit later before we get into everything and the packs and all that good stuff i want to say thank you for the support again on the first four episodes it's like i said it's crazy to have people enjoying what you're um, creating in what you're enjoying making if we can continue to like the videos um, it really does help it pushes the videos out to other people who are looking for rtg content we're almost at 90 subscribers which is a real big milestone for me and the channel to show the progression that we've been doing so let me show you the team that we went into rivals with and we'll get into those packs and uh, yeah enjoy let's go so like i said we went ahead and continued playing rivals we took boily out again to preserve his record because like i said i didn't want any of that nonsense where I'd scored 10 goals in rivals and having to do all those upgrades. So we took him out. We went back to Jesus. We took Stevenson out for Regulon and we just grinded through with this team that you can see. Now, I think I think we only played like six games to qualify to manage to get the qualifications points so that we can jump into the playoffs. Um, and I started noticing some issues in the fullback area. We started playing some players that had pacey wingers and they were just running down the wing. So right back and left back, although we can go and pick up a shadow for Regulon, the chemistry style, the shadow to put on him for a wee bit more pace. Botman, especially, again, I said last episode I don't like him, but specifically Trent down the wing, he was getting burnt for pace. Everyone's got good teams, you know, in the division that we managed to get um, into, but he was just getting burnt for pace. Leno still not, he couldn't catch a cold, Leno, so we need to upgrade that. We've got those four picks which we're about to go and do just now. The benefit of us not being able to play weekend league um, for the next two or three weekend leagues, which is, I know, it's a long gap in content. It's not ideal not being able to play the next two or three weekends, you know, going on holiday and stuff like that but it gives us that chance to grind in rivals to be able to make those upgrades right so as long as we keep winning games and keeping clean sheets if we can we can upgrade the team so that when we actually manage to get to the weekend league we get in there with the best possible chance of competing because that's what we want to do right nine wins 11 wins if we can with this team with the account would be perfect but that's obviously a couple of weeks down the line now content will be stretched there won't be too much of it over the next wee while but when i get back from holiday we'll be back to grinding and we'll get on with it there we opened our squad battle rewards this morning we didn't get anything um i've started a controversial um sbc um, we'll get into that in a wee second we basically got a duplicate caitlin ford from squad battles that was our best reward um so we put caitlin ford into this sbc so yeah we started mudrick um controversial i know basically the chelsea game is tomorrow night which gives me chance to grind on the web app and on the game today to unlock the second squad this was the first squad i put in to the first team so as you can see duplicate caitlin ford we also had a tiago silver on the transfer list from squad battles as well we used latara martinez in form in here i know it's a big it's a big card to put into a mudrick right i don't think chelsea are gonna win i don't even think they'll get a draw at uh, the tottenham hotspur stadium but the plan is fingers crossed with the packs we've got today and grinding it all the way up until like four or five o'clock tomorrow which i can do on the web app, Ryan bronze, uh, opening bronze packs, which I've started doing as well. We've, we have been busy, despite me saying we've not been too busy. Um, Gameplay-wise, we haven't. But this was the team I put in. We'll open bronze packs, grind them into the bronze upgrade, the silver upgrade from that, and try and generate more Centurion uh, packs as well. And then hopefully we get enough to do the end of Mudrick and then do Kulazewski as well. That would be ideal, because then we've got both bases covered. We can then use maybe Mudrick off the bench and start Kulazewski instead of Chloe Kelly. It's just something that I've been working towards. We'll see. The main one I want to get done is Mudrick. Like I said, I don't think we'll get a result at uh, the Tottenham Hotspur Stadium, but you never know. We may, we bottled it against Brentford. We might turn up against Spurs. You never know. So we'll finish Mudrick. 
You can leave as many comments in the comment section as you want. I know I've let you down. This was the team we put in. So the Baltimore card that we're not going to use, uh, like I said, duplicate Kate and Ford, Thiago Silva, but Lataro, that was the one that stung a wee bit. 88 in form. We'll probably not have anything like that back in the club for a wee while. But first squad is done. And like I said, I've been opening bronze packs just on the web app when I've got chance to, to open bronze packs. So we actually had 60,000, right? 60,000 coins. We've now got 55,000. I actually put 20k into bronze packs sold on what we needed to get back we've then got coins back from squad battle rewards and playing the game as well we've sold a couple of cards that we managed to pack from the tradable squad battle rewards and we're back up at 55k so i'm just going to keep going just keep generating these um bronze upgrades and silver upgrades but i put the bronze rares into the icons and that gave you tradable silver packs and it just kind of it just snowballs you just keep generating packs like i said so the bronze squads inside of pirlo vidic and blanc have all been done so that's fine we can ignore them now the bronze rares can go towards beckham and i think it's stoichkov which is the other icon so we'll just keep grinding through bit of talking to start the episode let's get into these packs you know the drill you'll see the big pulls hopefully we get something big that we can put into mudrick and uh, grind through that and finish that sbc and then once those packs are done it's foot champs time the playoffs are here we're gonna try and qualify um in this next week so you guys will see the first couple of games today and then as the week goes on we'll play rivals we'll finish off the champs playoffs and then we're we don't have to worry about coming back off holiday and qualifying for champs we'll just be qualified okay so that's the plan drop a like on the video if you're excited Let's get into these packs. We are going to start off then with the four upgrade packs that were due from last episode. Two goals from Boyley, two assists from Boyley have given us four upgrade packs. Anything in here that we can use to upgrade the team, we will try to do, but any fodder is more than welcome. Who is this? Manuel Neuer. What a start this could be. An 87 walkout. Yeah, we take those. We take those for sure. So, um, Neuer no chemistry he will receive if we put him in the team but that is a good start for fodder for mudrick anybody else in here trossard can he be evoed that might be one we could look at here and matthias rice so that's the first pack for the upgrade we're not going to use anything out of there for the attack or midfield upgrade so we store them into the club we can now use Neuer towards mudrick this will be pack number two for upgrade number two let's go english cam Who's this? Madison? Yeah, not Romero, like a couple of episodes ago, but Madison, uh, 84, another good rating for something inside of any SBC that we decide to do outside of Mudrick, because I think 84, um, it might be a little bit too low. Nothing else in there, but we'll go and put Moreno in another Centurion upgrade. So Moreno has gone into a upgrade. We're now on to the third upgrade pack that we can have. American center back, who is this? I'm not sure who this is. What rating is this going to be? Um, 81. Milazzo. Okay, so not ideal for a midfield upgrade, but anything else in here? Montiel, not too bad if we want an option at right back, but he is also pretty slow. Bruma is in there as well. So we've got one more upgrade pack to do. I'm just going to close my eyes and cycle through. I know all the upgrade packs are at the end. This one here. This is the one right here. Dutch. Center back, center back. Oh, Frankie de Jong. Oh my goodness gracious. This was the one. Midfield upgrade. Now, in terms of chemistry, he doesn't get any. We don't have any La Liga players or Dutch players in the team. But Frankie, an option for maybe off the bench? Oh, that's... Or is he fodder? 84-83, that is a solid pack. That is a solid pack. So Frankie... He doesn't get chemistry. If we take Tyler Adams out for Frankie de Jong, that butchers our chemistry. But is he fodder? I'd say he's like 22k. So he may well be fodder for Mudrick. We'll see. We'll see. Anyway, one thing that I didn't show you as we just cycle through the rest of these packs. We'll just get through the rest of the packs now. One thing I didn't show you was we actually packed Corny, Maxwell Corny, from... I'm not sure what pack it was, actually. Molina, nice upgrade. Um, in the defense for Trent with a bit of pace. He would also get chemistry to Frankie de Jong, so we're moving in the right direction. But yeah, we packed Corny, which for anybody else in there that I can see doesn't look like it. Wait, is ah, Molina is a is a duplicate. Okay, let's store the rest in here because it's it's all untradeable. We've got a player pick here. 
Can we get anything out here that we might like to use? I'm going to take Tremel here because I want more gold commons to put into the Centurion upgrades. But yeah, we packed Maxwell Corney, which for the Centurion's Sharpshooter SBC looks cracked out. So unless we do pack a Pedro Neto or a Huang in the rest of these packs, Maxwell Corney is the one that I'm going to do. He just looks so good. We have already used the, um, who was the duplicate here? It was Molina, wasn't it? Let me just type this in. We've already used the Welcome to Evolutions evolution, um, which means we can put it on Corne first and then do the Centurions. Because if you do it that way, you get him to an 87. We've only got the Sharpshooter Evo to do, so we can get him to an 86, but he looks cracked out. 90 pace, 90 shooting, really nice dribbling. I think you also get a plus... He gets loads of play styles as well. So that's who we're going to do on that. Well, that's who we're going to do on the Sharpshooter's Centurion upgrade, Evo. We'll get there eventually. Let's not put anybody that we might want to use in here. Onana, I don't think we're going to use. But yeah, Corne is the one. Into a mega pack now. English CDM from Arsenal. Is this going to be Declan Rice, is it? What is his rating? Is he an 85? This is perfect for Mudrick, I think. The 86 squad. So any more fodder that we can get is absolutely perfect. Uh, Martial in there. Ben Mee. Abubakar. Superb. What a player. Loads of loads of consumables. That's really, really nice. Premier League manager if we need it down the line. Let's just store all this stuff in. Duplicate Jordan. Okay. Fine. Pickford's definitely getting put in an SBC. That is for damn sure. Into our two rare gold player packs now. French. Centre back. Varane or Saliba. Kanati. Kanati. Now there's a potential centre back upgrade for us. Tomori and Kanati instead of Botman for the playoffs if we keep a clean sheet in the first game of playoffs. That's kind of nice. He is very, very good this year. I've used him early on on my main account. Really nice playstyles. He's got block. Doesn't have any playstyle pluses, but block, bruiser, and aerial. Yeah, I like that. So Kanati potentially in for Botman if we keep a clean sheet in the first couple of games. Not bad at all. We are actually motoring through the Centurion's crafting upgrade just from getting our duplicates back, um, you know, and recycling them into these upgrade packs. We're actually flying through them. So I don't know if we've just done another one there. It says objective complete. This would be perfect timing for what I've just said. Uh, let's go to milestones. I think it's down here in the milestones. Yeah, so we've done 30 I actually thought we'd only done like 15 or 20, but we've done 30 of the Centurion upgrade. Recycling, just recycling those players. Like I said, generating more packs. Plus times three attackers. Who is this? Oh, not be Dembele. Be Diani. Or Baltimore. <laughs> this French right wing PSG is... It's, it's locked into us. It is locked into us. Okay, so a couple of dupes there. We'll go and put into the Centurion. But Baltimore, if it was Diani... Or another Tim Bailey to put into Mudrick. Goodness gracious. I'm not going to open all of these upgrade packs today. I thought I was going to, but the video again will be, just be far too long. So we'll just keep going and then we'll get into champs. Um, who is this? Is this the guy from Na Napoli? Is that Napoli? Lobotka. Yes. 84 rated. Is he a duplicate? He is. Oh, a double 84 pack. Okay, so let me try... And go and finish Mudrick. I think this might be stretching the club. Lewandowski here. Lewandowski might be gone. Okay. The final squad inside of Mudrick. Now, there's a lot going on here, okay? There's 90 Lewandowski, two 86s and an 87. Ricken has been saved by the skin of his teeth. Because I did heads or tails between Ricken and this Zalazar guy. Who I'm probably never going to use. I I just don't know about putting a hero into Mudrick. <laughs> right, send it. Send it. It's at the rating cap. Dybala we were using. Trailblazers Cup. Zalazar, it's gone. But welcome, welcome to Mudrick. Now, I have absolutely no doubt that we're not going to get a result against Spurs tomorrow night. But it's not cost us any coins. He's a decent Premier League option for us, and he plays for Chelsea. It looks phenomenal. Whether he gets an upgrade or not, we will we will have to see. But Mudrick, welcome to the squad. We get an upgrade. 
today we may be able to squeeze you into the team does it mean dropping Dembele I'm not so sure but Lobotka was in there the duplicate he is here so what's he offering he can play left wing or left mid which isn't ideal but high medium double four star finishing needs some work but we can sort that with a chem style maybe a hawk or something like that uh, passing is really poor so we're just going to run down the line with him but yeah Mudrick the first SBC unlock of the series is a Chelsea player, as far as I'm aware. Have we got anyone else? Berbatov technically came out of the hero pack, but yeah, first specific player SBC, it's Mudrick. It was always going to be Mudrick. Leave your hate down below. I will try and get enough out of these packs to get Kulazewski done. We will be str we will be straining the club to get um, <laughs> Kulazewski done as well. But then we can enjoy the game on Monday night because if Spurs win or Kulazewski go up, uh, our, our Kulazewski goes up in rating and if Chelsea win, Mudrick goes up in rating and Chelsea win. <laughs> But Malcolm, welcome back. How many times have we seen you in this series? Anybody else in here for us? Emmanuel, whoa. Emmanuel, Dennis, um, what is going on? My controller's having a, an issue. It's having a moment. Anybody in here that we can sell? Probably not. So let's put Malcolm up there and continue. We'll just get through these packs. We're not going to open any more upgrade packs. I will do them off stream. So we've got an 84 times two for us here. Anything for us Brazilian? CDM, B Casemiro. It's Fabinho. B. Casemiro, that would have been part, a huge part of Kulazewski done. But it's going to be Fabinho. Anybody else with him that we could use? An 84 plus. Reese James. Oh, it was meant to be. It was meant to be. Bit more pace in the fullback position. You're not convinced. You're still not convinced by Mudrick. I can see it. It is time then for Foot Champs playoffs. There is no upgrades made to the team from the four upgrade packs that we got. The Neuer, the Frankie, American centre-back and Madison. There were no upgrades that we wanted to use for the team. So the squad remains the same. We go into Champs. We try and qualify this weekend so that we don't have to worry about it going into the week. And um, yeah, let's, let's go. First game of Foot Champs. We're back in the Hibs kit. No changes to the squad. Let's go. This is where the team will be tested in the Champions Playoffs. It'll be more difficult. Trust me, it'll be more difficult if we actually get to the weekend league. But let's have a look what we're facing and look at the standard of the teams in the weekend league. You know, in the, this is just the playoffs. So that's the standard of the team when we actually get to the big leagues. But Boyley's in there. We're ready to go. We're into our 4-2-3-1. Boyley is, for some reason, number six. But that doesn't matter. He wears number six for Australia. Um, but yeah, we're in. And Boyley's first involvement in foot champs. We, I haven't played a game today, so this was probably very, very silly as uh, we look early for Boyley into Berbatov. I'll take an early goal. We will take an early goal. And Berbatov in the playoffs gets a goal assist for Boyley. So that is one midfield upgrade we could potentially bring in. Declan Rice for Tyler Adams, which we didn't use uh, Declan Rice in the Mudrick SBC. I didn't even put Mudrick on the bench because we've not got an attacking upgrade yet. We need a goal for Boyley in the foot champs. Good from Botman. Good from Stevenson as well. Yeah, we need a goal from Boyley in this game for us to be able to put Mudrick either on the bench or replace him for chemistry with uh, Usman Dembele. We're away here with Berbatov and that's Kyle Walker. And this is the difference, right? The fullbacks have so much pace. That is poor from him though. And we're in Tyler Adams. Tyler Adams heard us talking about replacing him and Rio Ferdinand says, no, thank you. Tyler Adams now pings it to Chloe Kelly. Come out to Trent here. And I'm just gonna run with Trent. Nobody's attacking the middle. So we're gonna go back to Berbatov. A little bit of skill. Didn't quite mean that one. This is the one that I wanted. Go on, Berber. That was the one I wanted. I stopped talking. It's 2 0. I don't think there was an involvement for Boyley. But 2 0 in our first playoffs game. We take those. Kelly out to Dembele. Little touch. In through to Berbatov again. We're in again. Berber, green across goal. It wasn't quite a green, and Allison makes a good save. Uh, KDB on the corner. Now, we have improved our corners, and I'm going to show you right now. Berbatov versus Ferdinand. Berbatov! Told you we'd improved. I told you we'd improved. And this was where we said it was the real test for Berbatov. And it's 3-0 in the first game. Berba now. If we can get a goal for Boyley, this would be absolutely perfect. Chloe Kelly now. We're going to go down the line. We're going to bait it. Now we're going to go down the line. And KDB, what a run. Going to cut back to Martin Boyle. 
For a playoffs goal, it couldn't be. It's a save from Allison, is it? I think it might be. I think it might be. And I'm going to try something here. And if this works, I want you all to like the video. I've been, I've been absolutely, never mind, ignore it. Boily, brilliant from you. Go again, son. Go again, son, in the playoffs. Run. Go again for the playoffs. I, I, I just, I didn't know what to say. First game in the playoffs. Look at that. Shift of the ball. See you later, Rio. And he puts it in the top corner. It's 4-0. I am excited. We are winning a game. Incredible. And it's a clean sheet. I cannot believe what we've just done. Look at this from Boily. 4-0. So, defensive upgrade, because we kept a clean sheet. Welcome Kanati, potentially. Oh, I'm getting ahead of myself. I'm getting ahead of myself. What did Boily finish on? Okay, so, first of all, Berbatov hat-trick. We said it was going to be the test of him in foot champs. Berba hat-trick, but Boily, goal and an assist. So, we've got an attacking upgrade. Mr. Mudrick could be joining us very shortly. We've got a midfield upgrade, so Declan Rice could come in for Tyler Adams, who was very, very good in that game. We've got a clean sheet and the win, which gives us the full whack of upgrades. First win in the Champs playoffs, four points for us. That means we only need another three wins. If we get four wins in the playoffs, that means we qualify. Incredible. Tamori, you want a uh, contract, you can have one. Right, okay, so the options that we've got here are that Declan Rice goes in for Tyler Adams. Now, I think that although Tyler Adams played very, very well in that first Foot Champs games, I think with the extra chemistry that we get for Declan Rice in there, I think it's a good option for that to be an upgrade. Now, one of the things I was thinking of doing was taking Dembele out for Mudrick. Now, Dembele has been superb for us, I can't lie. No, because if we put him in for Chloe Kelly, Mudrick, and swap sort of like this round, that gives us a, a chemistry boost as well. Wow, okay. It doesn't put Tamori up or down. That's kind of crazy. So Chloe Kelly out? Yeah, I think I kind of like that. Okay, I've been sat here for literally five minutes thinking about what we're gonna do, and I think, I think I'm quite happy with Boily on one chem. So the upgrade is going to be Regalon to give us some pace on that side. Trent will be the next one to go, I think. Although I was talking about Botman, he still remains. So Regalon comes into the team for Louis Stevenson. Stevenson can then go on the bench instead of Joe Paulo because he can play um, anywhere across the back if we need him to. Uh, Declan Rice comes in for Tyler Adams, so shout out to Matinho, but Tyler Adams comes onto the bench, Declan Rice will be our upgrade in the midfield, and the attacking upgrade is of course Mudrick in for Chloe Kelly, Chloe Kelly comes in to the bench in place of Vinicius, so Chloe Kelly is on the bench, we're going to go into a second game. I'm just going to put chem styles on my players that I like. The team is ready. I didn't have a shadow or anything to put on any of my back four or back five. But we're going to go in to our second game of Foot Champs playoffs. A 4-0 victory in the first one. We've got a couple of upgrades. Regalon comes in at the left back position. And... Teclan Rice comes into the middle of the park. Blanc, Militao, all oh, these teams. Alvarez, Evo, respect, Felipe Anderson and Rodrigo. This is going to be a tough one. He's got the upgraded Trailblazers, Declan Rice. We've got the normal one, but we've got Boily. What a tackle early on on flashback KDB. Here we go, Berbatov, Dembele, Mudrik, first touch, gives the ball away. That sounds about right. <laughs> Berbatov, though, keeps it alive. And now Dembele on this side, little drop of the shoulder. Cut it back. Mudrick sw swing and a miss, you couldn't write it. Mudrick with a swing and a miss, honestly, you couldn't write it. It couldn't be any more perfect. Good pressure from KDB, though. Inside is Boily. Still, driv still dribbling. Oh, never mind. Rick, make a run. I need something from you. We're going to go out here to Declan Rice. And Declan Rice is the upgrade on Tyler Adams. Let's see how he gets on. We're going to play this into Berbatov. Got an uh, overlapping run in Trent. And Mudrick's at the back post! I feel sadness. It's the overriding emotion right now is sadness. I've headed it over from inside the six yard box with my new unlock and I, I do feel pain. I do feel quite sad. We could have been away there, but Blanc says, no thank you. Now we've got our recovery pace with Tomori and we're probably going to need it and look at him step across there. Ping this into Berbatov and now find Boily. 
and just run Boily. Never mind, we've been clamped in the middle of the park, but we're battling away and it will be a foul. But I feel some pain. Mudrick's missed the first two big chances. But I'm gonna I'm gonna ignore it for now as we find Boily in the little reverse ball into Berbatov. Good block from Blanc, who he wasn't controlling. Now on the counter-attack, Regalon showing why we did the upgrade from him, from Stevenson to him, sorry. Uh, Dembele, little ball roll scoop inside, and now Berbatov. We've opened that up quite nicely. Hit the byline, Boily, tracked by Militao, and Militao says thank you very much. Didn't quite get there with KDB, that's going to be a good step from Regalon. Kyle Walker, everybody's got Kyle Walker, just to run down the line. We're not going to be able to track Felipe Anderson here, but we baited him beautifully with Tomori to bait that pass out. And um, yeah, in these tight games, you need to take those chances. Then uh, Berbatov, sorry, ran away. We couldn't find him. And this is where now you haven't taken your chances. The first chance that your opponent gets, they take normally in these type of games. We go out to uh, Trent here, and I'm actually just going to try and angle this out to Mudrick. We do it quite nicely, but Walker says, no, thank you. And now Regulon into Mudrick. He's going to know that I want that pass back. He didn't really mark it too well. And Regulon now cut it back. And Blanc. Blanc comes across while not being controlled and says thank you very much. Little reverse flip flat. We couldn't get it to go. Boyley's pass. And now he comes away with Ashley Cole. Can't select Trent for some reason. And Ashley Cole now cuts inside. Good tackle from KDB. Mudrick finds Berbatov. And again, we just get clamped in the middle, and that is half-time. And this is the true test of the team. We've made chances, we've not taken them. Champs is brutal that way. Nil-nil at half-time. We've had the better of the game. This guy's not had a shot so far, but we've not taken our chances. Uh, better XG, like, like I said, he's not had any shots. Better possession. But if we don't take our chances, he will take his first one. For sure. Back underway then in the second half. And the first game where we played superbly well and had a 4-0 win. This has not been like this, but this is very nice play. Mudrick cut inside but gets clamped by Walker. Tell you what, Kevin has been superb in the middle of the park. Lost my man here. Good from Tomori, but he gets the bounce back. Rodrigo hits it good from Botman, to be fair. This guy's first shot results in his first corner of the game. Bellingham flicks it on. Botman can... Well, well, let's just calm it down a wee bit here if we can. We've got the throw in now. KDB finds Declan Rice into Mudrick. Touch was really poor, but he got away with it. He got away with it. And Mudrick says, I have arrived in foot champs. His first game for the club is in the champs playoffs. And Mudrick buries it top bin. Got a wee bit of fortune. No involvement from Boyle. I think it's Declan Rice who uh, might get the assist. But Mudrick bags in his first game after a tentative start, shall we say. Bellingham now turns nicely. We're there with Mudrick, and I should have turned round. I should have turned round. I've committed to Mori. It may be a mayday situation here. We're sort of back in shape. Can I please get hold of Regulon? Thank you very much. Wait, how is... How has he got through there? I promise you, I made the tackle there with Regulon, and he's just bounced off us. And nobody's came to, to shut him down. And it's 1-1. And wait, we're back in here. It's Mudrick. Sit him down and finish Mudrick. Much better. Much better from Mudrick. We're getting to use him now. We're getting used to him already, I was trying to say. Um, but yeah, good finish. Well, maybe not. It wasn't in the corner. Keeper's had a nightmare, but Leno still's not, still hasn't made a save. He's going for the kickoff. How dare you? Good from Tomori, but it's gone back to him. And Rodrigo now. Kind of taking uh, Botman out of position. And I still feel like there's some kickoff stuff happening here. We got a tackle in and it bounced straight back to him. Still coming across here with KDB. Defending nicely though. Tomori says no thank you and I couldn't clear it. I couldn't clear it. And Leno's made a save. I feel like it was a bit lucky for him to get to where he got to eventually to get the ball out for the shot. But Leno's made a save. Corner now. Rodrigo. We'll swing it in. Blanc is up. And he couldn't save that. Oh, why did it swap me off? I don't know if I had Botman and it changed to Regulon. But, yeah. And this is this is more like it. This is more like it for champs. My goodness me. This is exactly what I was expecting in the first game. Uh, we're just going to keep it here. We've got some nice movement. One of those people moving was Mudrick. And he was just swallowed up again. By Eder Militao. I feel a little bit hard done by. I won't lie. 
as uh, Tomori here has been, well, um, well, Alvarez seems quite balanced. What just happened there? I thought I was in a really good position there with, um, here we go. Here we go. It's kickoff v kickoff. This is a joke. But I thought I was in a good position with, um, with Tomori to just sort of balance, or not balance, but uh, shoulder barge him off the ball. But it didn't happen. Anyway, Mudrick, um, well, Mudrick's got a hat trick in his first game. Um, that's something that's happened. We're away again here. This defense is on top. Things you love to see. Mudrick has managed to get the better of Kyle Walker and couldn't get the pass away, but that's going to be a corner. We're battling away here, and this is exactly what I expected champs to be. I can't lie. Right, we're gonna we're nowhere dangerous from corners now. So in it goes from KDB. And Berbatov rises, but Militao is in there. He's so good in the air. Kevin, and here we go now on the front foot again. But Blanc from some from from nowhere has made a tackle again. Botman does well. Now KDB. It might be time for some changes here as we go in towards extra time. Things that I didn't want in the second game is extra time. That is a that was back to Tomori. I feel like the passing has completely just disappeared. Tomori is battling with KDB and, well, okay, Blanc came round the back and took the ball off me, but Tomori couldn't do it. I'm trying to select Kevin. That's gone off Declan Rice. I don't know really what's going on. It's a wee bit messy, but we've tidied it up now with Declan Rice and that will be a chance for us to get a breather and make some changes. So the first change is going to be Simon for Mudrick. really don't want to take Boyley off, but I feel like I might have to. We're not going to do it just yet. Tyler Adams is going to come on for a wee bit of legs in the middle of the park. I feel like Mudrick's stolen the show a wee bit here, but Tyler Adams on, uh, Moses Simon on for the hat-trick hero, and um, let's see if we can um, make one more chance before the end of the game here. Comes the other way. I can't select Kevin, which is quite frustrating. I've noticed he's brought Diaby on, which is um, frightening pace-wise. Good from Tomori, and Adams tidies it up nicely. Regalon has Simon, and he's going to use him. And we're away here. He's stomped with Kyle Walker and Moses Simon now. Looking for Berbatov. We ro ball roll back into him. No way, Boyley. Stick your leg out. That could have been ours. Ashley Cole. It's sort of... Well, it's next goal winner. And it, it might be this guy as he looks to carve out, out a chance here. We're not going to catch him. We are not going to catch him. He's gone back. It's Di Maria. He wants it on that left foot Leno's made a good save I didn't commit him to shoot in there because I didn't think that Di Maria could get that to go on his right foot and that is full time so extra time is upon us I don't know what legs like I don't know what legs Boyley's got left he might have to come off here which means we're going to sacrifice any upgrade that we might get with him Chloe Kelly coming on we don't really have much else in the uh, reserves to sort of um, help us out here. So that's the only change. So Boyley off. Did he get anything in the game? No, no return for Boyley. So he's coming off. So no attacking upgrade or any upgrade in, in general from this game for us. But now we've got a lock in. It's extra time in the second game of the playoffs. Let's try and keep it here and just run with Regalon for a little minute. And that was really poor. That kind of stuff does not work in these champs games against the better players. I must be honest. Louis Kelly's come close to me. I don't want her. I want her in the wing. As we look for Simon, he's won it somehow. And now Berbatov and Moses Simon Blanc comes across with an unbelievable tackle. Tyler Adams. Is that Dembele? It, it was Dembele. It was Dembele. I probably didn't need the big fake shot. I could have I could have done the five star or the done the scoop shot, but I didn't do it. And Regalon here has been burnt by Diaby. He's gonna cut it back. And it's an easy, easy finish in the end. And we are behind in the second game in champs. I knew that first game was too too much uh, too easy for us. Uh, it's all falling apart now. Tomori does well. Ref, ref, anything. He's in again. He's in again. Leno makes a big save. Okay, who this guy? He's gonna go short. We need to take another. We need to create another chance. We haven't created anything other than kickoffs. I feel like um, he's gonna swing it in this time with KDB. Corner to this guy. Ball in. Chloe Kelly is for some reason marking Aspas. And now Diaby, and we're going to have to start putting a press on here, I think, because it's all just a little bit too easy. Yeah, that's really nice play, and that is game. I think it's over. Game two, we fall to an L, and is it a tale of 
missed chances or not good enough defensively, I think it might be a combination of the two. It's not been the greatest extra time performance from us, I won't lie. We're going to have to start chasing the game, simple as that. So let us do forward runs, fast build up now, um, and we're going to have to press after possession loss. Well, the best we can do here is try and just get back into the game. This guy is definitely going to try and keep the ball. And we need to be able to create something, which we haven't really done anything attacking-wise in the second half of extra time. We haven't done anything at all. He's just going to try and keep the ball now, which is frustrating, but we have to try and keep our head as we don't get the ball back from that tackle. Um, good from Tyler Adams. We don't get the ball back again. Frustrating. Uh, Tomori and Botman. Oh, he's managed to work that really nicely, and we've been... Well, I don't really know what's happened there with, uh, with Trent. I definitely pressed for him to clear it. But we've gone to 4 2 4, um, full attacking, like constant pressure. And at the moment, we're struggling to really get the ball back. Um, so this is going to be our first L, I think, unless something drastic happens. I, I don't know what's happened there. Yeah, it's a GG, boys. It's a GG. Um, but yeah, lessons to be learned, you know, controlling of the game. We didn't really control it, and defensively, we weren't good enough. Chances were missed. But in the end, it's a deserved loss. So 6-3 loss in the second game of champs, unfortunately. Um, so that is going to be 1-1 one and one for the playoffs. So we need three more wins. So a little bit of disappointment there for us. But I knew the difficult games were coming after the first after the first game. So the upgrades have not helped us, it would appear. Um, you know, with uh, Mudrick coming in. Mudrick, hat-trick in the first game for him, though, for us. So it was nice, but we fell to a loss so the upgrades didn't actually help us. But that is where I'm going to leave episode number five. I have hope you've enjoyed it. Boyley is up to 12 games played, 15 goals and 7 assists. So not a bad return for him at all. We've done all our upgrades that were due. We have none in the bank. We do have some upgrade packs that I will, I'm actually going to open um, off stream. Hopefully so that we can get enough fodder together um, for Kulazewski, try and finish Kulazewski because I think he might be a nice option. If we take out Dembele for Kulazewski, if we get him unlocked, that's a little bit more chemistry for the team. And um, yeah, in the next episode, we'll play a couple more games of Champs qualifiers. There's probably not going to be any packs, so it'll just be Champs qualifiers we'll play through. Um, but that's where I'm going to leave episode number five. So that's where I'm going to leave episode number five. If you've enjoyed it, leave a like on it. A bit of a high and a bit of a low with the win and the loss in chance. But that's how it's going to be when our team, you know, isn't completely full meta, if you will. You know, I think the substitutions um, really sort of helped the game for him, Di Maria and that coming on. But we've been through it. We take our loss. We take our lesson. And uh, yeah, this is where I'm going to end the episode. So if you've enjoyed it, leave a like on the video. If you want to see more, subscribe to the channel if you happen to be new because you will be because you've no idea who i am from myself and boyley thank you very much for watching as always i will see you in the next episode and uh, yeah take care